Welcome to NIIT's YouTube channel, your trusted platform for building future-ready skills in a world shaped by AI, cloud, cybersecurity, data, and software engineering. And in this video, we're doing a complete deep dive into GPT 5.2, the OpenAI's newest model series built for professional knowledge work. And we will compare it with major competitors like Gemini 3, DeepSeek v3.2, and Cloud Opus 4.5. Now, what is ChatGPT 5.2 and who is it for? So OpenAI describes GPT 5.2 as its most capable model series yet for professional knowledge work. And this isn't positioned as a casual chat upgrade. It's designed to create spreadsheet, build presentations, write production grade code, interpret images, and it handles very long context, use tools, and execute complex multi-step projects end to end. Now OpenAI also cites a uh, real enterprise usage so the average chat GPT enterprise user reports AI saves 40 to 60 minutes per day and heavy users report more than 10 hours per week. And GPT 5.2 is meant to push that productivity even further. Now in chat GPT, OpenAI is rolling out with three uh, different five, uh, 5.2 options. So you have instant thinking and pro starting with paid plans. Now in the API, GPT 5.2 is available now to developers. And here's the simplest way to think about them. Instant is for speed, thinking is for deep work, and structured multi-step reasoning. And Pro is the highest end option when accuracy and difficult reasoning are worth the extra cost. Now we will talk about the big promise, which is the economically valuable work plus GDP VAL and whatever it is. So OpenAI's headline claim is that GPT 5.2, it sets a new state of the art on a benchmark called GDP VAL. Now, GDP VAL, it measures well-specified knowledge work tasks spanning 44 occupations, things like creating a sales presentation, creating an accounting spreadsheet, making schedules, diagrams, and other professional deliverables. So on GDP VAL, GPT 5.2 thinking beats or ties industry professionals in 70.9% of comparison based on expert human judging. And GPT 5.2 Pro goes higher at 74.1%. Now, OpenAI adds a practical detail. GPT 5.2 thinking produced outputs for these GDP VAL tasks at more than 11 times the speed and less than 1% of the cost of expert professionals based on their historical estimates. And OpenAI explicitly notes that the speed in chat GPT can vary. And this is about what's possible with human oversight. Now, what about investment banking spreadsheet? So OpenAI also highlights an internal benchmark in junior investment banking analysis spreadsheet modeling tasks. So GPT 5.2 thinking's average score rose from 59.1% with GPT's 5.1 thinking to 68.4%, a 9.3% point improvement. Now we'll do a deep breakdown by capability with metrics. So let's talk coding. GPT 5.2 is heavily marketed as stronger for, strong, for software engineering. Now let's talk coding because GPT 5.2 is heavily marketed as stronger for software engineering. OpenAI reports 55% uh, on SWE Bench Pro and 80% on SWE Bench Verified for GPT 5.2 thinking. The practical takeaway OpenAI gives is straightforward. More reliable debugging, feature implementation, refactoring, and end-to-end -end fixes with less manual intervention. Now next is factuality. Now OpenAI says GPT 5.2 thinking hallucinates less than GPT 5.1 thinking. And on a set of de-identified JAR GPT queries, responses with at least one error drop from 8.8% to 6.2%. OpenAI also clearly warns that GPT 5.2 is still imperfect, so verify anything critical. Now you have long context reasoning. It is another major upgrade. So OpenAI reports 5.2 thinking sets a new state of art in long context reasoning on MRC RV2. So they highlight near 100% accuracy on the four needle variant out of 256,000 tokens which is the first time they have seen that level of accuracy at that length. So in real world terms, professionals can analyze long reports, contracts, transcripts, and multiple file projects while maintaining coherence across huge context windows. Now for vision, 
ओपन ए आई सेज दैट जी पी टी फाइव पॉइंट टू थिंकिंग इज इट्स स्ट्रॉन्गेस्ट विजन मॉडल येट कटिंग एर रेट्स रफली एंड हाफ ऑन चार्ट रीजनिंग एंड सॉफ्टवेयर इंटरफेस अंडरस्टैंडिंग टू नंबर्स दे रिपोर्ट सो चार एक्स आई वी रीजनिंग इम्प्रूव टू एटी एट पॉइंट सेवन परसेंट एंड स्क्रीन स्पॉट प्रो with python tools enabled uh, in the evaluation setup now tool calling so tool calling is where gpt 5.2 targets real enterprise workflows so you have customer support multi system data pool analysis and final deliverable so open ai reports 98.7% on tau to bench telecom and 82.0% on tau to bench retail for gpt 5.2 thinking now we'll do a quick comparison of chat gpt 5.2 with gemini 3 and dcv 3.2 and cloud opus 4.5 so here's a quick reality check comparison across ai models can be tricky because companies use different evaluation setups tools access and conditions so in this section we're just going to cite what each company publicly claims without pretending it's a perfectly equal test now google's official announcement for gemini 3 states that gemini 3 pro delivers strong benchmark result including 37.5% on humanity's last exam without tools 91.9% on gpq8 diamond and it highlights a deep thing mode that according to google reaches 41% of humanity's last exam and 93.8% on gpq8 diamond and 45.1% on arc agi2 with code execution and about cloud opus 4.5 so it positions anthropic positions cloud opus 4.5 as especially strong for real world software engineering so anthropics materials and microsoft write up highlight a new high of 80.9% on swe bench as a state of the art claim for coding performance now pricing is listed as $5 per million input tokens and $25 per million output tokens uh now about deep sea v3.2 deep sea v3.2 update focuses heavily on agent workflows so deep sea says that v3.2 integrates thinking directly into tool use and supports tool use in both thinking and non thinking modes so their technical paper also emphasizes efficiency improvement for long context via sparse attention and discusses performance claims relative to their frontier models in the evaluation section and if you want to know more about deepseek i have done a complete breakdown so i'll just attach the link to the description and finally availability and pricing open ai states gpt 5.2 begins rolling out in char gpt to paid plans and gpt 5.1 remains available for a limited period under legacy models before being sunset in char gpt so for developers open ai list model names like gpt 5.2 for thinking gpt 5.2 chat latest for instant and gpt 5.2 for pro and gpt 5.2 pro for pro now open ai has published api pricing is 1.75 per dollar per million input tokens and 14 dollars per million output tokens for gpt 5.2 with a 90% discount on cached input and for gpt 5.2 pro open ai list 21 dollar input and 168 dollar output per million tokens so what's the bottom line open ai is positioning chat gpt 5.2 as a model that's not just smarter in conversation its focus is measurable improvements in economically valuable work spreadsheet presentation code long document analysis vision understanding and reliable tool use so for learners and professional the key shift is this ai is moving from helpful assistant to high leverage work partner and your advantage comes from knowing how to prompt it verify it and integrate it into real workflows so if you want more breakdowns like this focused on skill careers and real industry impact subscribe to the nirt youtube channel and i will see you in the next one thank you so much